Welcome back, everybody, to another adventure in Subnautica with Lady Alyssa being me. This is probably us wrapping up the end of Subnautica, which is sad. And it's been such a long adventure that I don't, I don't emotionally feel ready to let go. But before we head off in a rocket ship and blast off into space, I have built myself a torpedo arm. And I have decided that I wanted to check out the sand dunes before I like head out. So today's mission is to check out the sand dunes and maybe go toe to toe with the Reaper Leviathan. He's very unhappy. He's been screaming here for several minutes while I get ready and prep everything. Uh, I took off the drill arm because I just don't see it to be necessary. I've parked my Cyclops. I, I'm assuming far enough away he will not bother it. And here we go, I guess. I'm hoping if I stand still he won't notice me, but I highly doubt that's gonna that's gonna work out for me. I wonder how accurate these torpedoes are also. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't wanna move, he's so close. Okay. I have saved, so this is just for fun. If everything goes horribly bad, which it inevitably will, then I will see you guys on the other side. Okay. He seems very busy being a jerk to other people. I think this is the wreck I was trying to explore at one point, but he was being a complete, a complete jerk, not letting me even go inside it. I don't just, I just don't know if it's worth it at this point. I don't even know how I get in there, honestly, looking at it. I guess, probably like right here, but, eh. I don't just, I just don't think it's going to be worth it for me at this point in the, in the game. Maybe in like a later date, I'll go through and check out any other the other wrecks that I haven't explored. But for now, I think that this is that's probably it. I'm scared to I'm scared to go real far because I don't know what the edge, like the crater is. I don't know where that that point goes to like a dead zone drop off or not. I'm sure it's pretty noticeable. I'm sure you just like come up and it's just, it literally drops to like nothing. I hope. Warper, okay. I wonder if I could kill a Warper. That'd be kind of cool. There's Enzyme 42. This one brain coral just like chilling, illuminating everything. That's kind of weird. Hey, it's the sea treaders. I didn't realize I was that far south. You guys are still so much bigger than I am. Is it just you? You guys are supposed to migrate in herds, right? Is that another one? Yeah, there's another one. Hi, buddy. How you doing? These guys are so awesome. They are probably one of my absolute favorite creatures in the entire game. Okay, but if we are that far south, then what I need to do is I need to traverse north, pretty much. Just pretty much straight north, I think. Maybe a little northeast, because I'm looking for... On the map, there's like a little crater... And I kind of want to see what's up with that. Oh, I don't like that the music just like cut like that. Oh! <gasps> Holy shit! I think I shot a little too close to myself there, but, uh... 
Holy shit, he was silent. He was freaking silent, man. Oh my gosh, that music cut and I knew something was wrong. Oh, he is just as scary as ever. Oh, it seeks him? That's kind of cool. Oh, it's, is it like sucking him in? Oh, that's kind of cool. Check that out. Make him dizzy. That's kind of cool. He's so quiet. Why are you not making any noise? Either he's glitched, or this is the part where things get terrifying in the dunes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna try to kind of keep going here a little bit. Is this my crater? Is this what I'm looking for here? It might be. Oh. Dude, come on. This is not the place. Well, I guess maybe it is for you. But yeah, I didn't expect there to be anything in the crater. I just thought it would be like something cool to check out. I think that's it. I could be wrong, but there's also another one that's not too far off from it. It's not doesn't look as deep. But I was thinking about checking out as well. I hear one of them. This is so creepy at night. I don't know how close he was to actually getting me, but that scared the absolute garbage out of me. Oh lord. I think it was the worst idea to come out here when it was starting to turn night. This was a terrible, terrible idea. Who who let me do this? All of y'all. Y'all y'all all let me do this to myself. Not cool, you guys. How much further down does this go? I guess let's find out. I'm not dead yet, so... I'll take that as my sign to continue adventuring and see what kind of trouble I can get in here. It's so cool to see that all of these, like, vents, these... thermal vents have, like, actual life surrounding them, just like they would in in our waters. Is that where I just came up from? I feel like it is. Right? Maybe not. No, I don't think so. Convenient cave big enough for the prawn suit. I bet that's just silver, isn't it? What are those glowing things? Can I scan that? I can't. Where are you? You're so hard to pinpoint. Rock grub? Welcome aboard, Captain. Rock grub. A small, luminescent scavenger, roughly thumb sized. This creature may be a distant relative of a sand sh of the sand shark, sharing that species' unusual limbs, segment segmented exoskeleton, and burrowing behavior. Its circular set of teeth is designed to tear up clumps of coral and seagrass. Five legs, two arms, glowing green in the dark would seem like a poor survival strategy, but this ad adaptation may be a mating behavior or other specialized process engaging in only, f only a fraction of total population at one time. Harmless. Okay, cool. I just didn't realize that that little guy was a thing. I thought it was literally like moss on the wall or something. That reaper is not happy right now. 
Yeah, this has got to be one of those like little cave. Oh, brain coral. <laughs> or no, crown, crown coral. I think it was not brain coral. It's the only place I've seen it out in the wild. I think. Yeah, this has got to be one of those like holes that I happen to see on the map. And then I think the only other interesting hole was the one I already went in, I think. Are you going to come for me, bro? Or are you going to let me be? Oof. He just attacks anything, doesn't he? Oh, that poor sand shark. <gasps> Did he just eat a sand shark? Oh, dude. I think I, I keep feeling like I see his little, like, arms almost. And they just make me think of, like, little peg legs on a pirate. Because he doesn't have any, like, like fingers or anything, so they just look like pegs. Makes him look kind of buff at the same time, though. We're just gonna have to do it. Oof. Sand dunes? Scary. We're just gonna go for it. Is that another one? Did I just see another one? Oh, that's a big wreck. I don't think I got to explore this wreck. At least not that I remember. Again, I'm not going to go in it just because I don't feel like it has a lot to offer me at this point. Unfortunately. If I am missing anything else, I'd be more than happy to grab it up, but I just don't feel like... At this point, I just don't feel like I need any of that. Nice. I kind of wish I had come to the sand dunes a little earlier, because at this point they're... I would say they're not that scary. He just went after a warper and then glitched straight up into the ground. <laughs> they don't like the warpers. <laughs> they're like, get out of here, buddy. We don't want you here. I mean, they are like alien created creatures they're not like creatures of the planet not that these creatures wouldn't eat their own kind anyway here we go i think i've been here though when i was trying to set up my first scanner room base over here i think i checked this out i don't know if i actually left that in the video or not i'm sorry if i did not it's kind of cool. It's like a cave that leads off into like this... There we go. This alien... Let me see if I can just kind of get to the end here. It was like a research spot, I think. It wasn't... Yeah, it wasn't like a gate. But it just had some like data and it had several ion cubes, which was really nice. It was a cool little like treasure to find. But just some, like, extra lore. So, you guys didn't miss too much if I forgot to add that in. I do apologize. Okay. Okay. So, what we were probably going to do is I'm going to go to this scanner room that's over here. I'm going to leave my Cyclops over there for now. Because I, I just don't need it right now. Um, but I will see you guys when we get to the scanner room. This area is so much scarier to go through, considering I just have Spelunky here. Which means that I'm on the bottom f Oh shoot. <gasps> I think I just grappled to... Yep, I am now attached to the ghost leviathan. 
I think I can let go. But I'm just kind of riding him right now, which is hilarious and scary. Okay, we're out. Grab that. Oh shoot, I need you to grab it for me, bro. Come on, Spelunky, work with me. Oh gosh, we're going to the floor, aren't we? Come on, Spelunky, grab it. Ooh. Man, he just came at me. You just hear that, like, scream. It's almost like a... Oh, I'm fine. I would equate it to being, like, maybe a, a banshee scream or something, like you would imagine from, like, a sci-fi movie. And you just hear him scream, and you're like, this is it. This is the end. I'm dead. Vital signs stabilizing. Oh, well, they weren't that bad before. Calm down, Ara. Was that you? Bro. Back off. Wow, that thing just went out there, didn't it? Well, there goes that. You stay right over there, friend. I'm just coming in here for some food. Welcome aboard, Captain. Eat some melons. Eat some potatoes. And we're good. I still think this thing is, like, legit awesome. Do I want to search for anything? Data box? I just don't think I need a data box. There is a wreck down here, I think. I just don't, like I said, I don't think I need it. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to have fun. We're going to go underneath the floating islands, and we are going to go all the way down. We're just going to let it fall, and whatever happens, happens. And this is going to be a very bad idea. And I'm going to wish greatly that I did not decide to do this. That's what's going to happen. So I can't see literally anything. Okay. Oh, that is actually touching the ground? Do not. I don't think I realized... This one wasn't just floating. Like, it's kind of floating, but it's also attached to the ground still. Which means it didn't, like, rise up because of the giant, like, air sacs that are on it. It was, like, worn away, maybe? That's kind of cool. Nice. Really, friends? I don't need this kind of hostility from you. Back off, buddy. Is that another pocket? Is that gonna blow up in my face? No. This is really cool, though. I really like this area. I wish I had explored it a little bit more. Oh, come on. Don't be a jerk, man. Before I, like, like, got to finish everything up, for the most part. But it's, it's pretty awesome. There's not a lot to do down here, I don't think, but... It's really cool either way. Come on. Light! Shallow water! Beautiful. Okay, am I... am I okay up here? Okay. Oh, this takes forever. I forgot. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. Actually, I need to... Yoink. Do I have to... 
Okay, I load it right right into the arm. Okay, so I got three shots left. I think, right? Yeah, I got three shots left. That is home. That is south. If we go east, then that's some more scary territory. Is it nighttime or is it an eclipse right now? It's nighttime! Awesome. I can see my rocket from here. That's hilarious. So I, I wanted to check this area out really quick on the other side of the gun island, the alien island. Just because it looked really cool in my opinion honestly on the map it looks like swirly kind of now it's supposed to be like a dangerous ish area so i'm gonna try to keep my eyes peeled for that but it looks cool on the map Is the sun coming no the sun's setting for sure right that's just the like yeah the sun is gone I feel like I should be way more north than this. I'll be right back. Ooh, that would this is kind of scary. I'm falling and I can't see the bottom. Oh shit. There's a floor. Can I can I grab this floor? Grab it, damn it. <laughs> Ooh. Nope. I want the floor. The floor feels safe. Okay. I think we have fairly made it to like the bulb bush area, which is I think what I was looking for. I think. Because it's on the other side of the island, the gun island. Oh, there's a mesmer. Don't look at that. Oh, this place just looks awesome. It really does. Let's see. Was there anything interesting I needed to check out? So it doesn't look like there's a lot of interesting stuff over here. More than just the environment's really cool. Um, there is a biome entrance. That was over here, apparently. That I wouldn't mind checking out. But... Away, fish. I gotta figure out where that is, though. Oh, wow. It's so expansive. Like, I didn't expect it to be that big. Is this the biome entrance? Is this it? Ooh. This might be it, right? I mean, it just kind of keeps going down, so I'm assuming so. Ooh, dude, you kind of scared me. Oh. Well, only got one life, right? Oh, I should have saved. Darn it. Wow. I will say, this is really pretty. All this, like, bioluminescence. Really cool. I'm gonna take my quick moment to save this. Oh, this is so cool. This has got to be the entrance to the Lost River, right? Oh yeah, it's gotta be, because you got the, like, the crawlers over here. Wow. Oh, you know what? I think I was over here at one point, but I totally did not see this reaper skeleton. 
There's nothing crazy around me, right? Because I think I already scanned one of these. I can't scan this one, can I? Look how big he is! Oh my gosh! Let me just fit myself inside his mouth really quick. That's insane. He's so enormous. It's like sometimes you don't realize that. I mean, you get, I guess if you get eat, if you get ate, then you're like right up in his face, but it's... Now this is a cool entrance. I bet you could take the Cyclops in here fairly easily. Look. Oh. There's so many Reaper skeletons. Oh my gosh. This has got to be where the Sea Emperor... Not Sea Emperor. Where this, the Sea Dragon comes to like feed on them. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. This is legit. This would be, this is like one of the coolest entrances to have all of this. All this bioluminescent, like illuminating everything. So freaking awesome. Oh my gosh. Like it doesn't have the giant skull. I will say that the other one has the giant skull that you kind of like come upon, which was awesome. But like kind of looking up and all you see is like almost like a starry night sky. That's pretty legit awesome. I love that. And then you got you got one of the rays right away. That's so cool. Oh, I was about to say, what is that? Okay, that's just one of those Leviathans. I'm not too worried about him at this point in the playthrough. I thought I saw bones over here, so I just wanted to check that out really quick before we head back. Oh shoot, no bones, it just goes straight down? No way. I just want to like pause for a second. That's legit terrifying. You just come in here and then you don't, you got nothing. It just drops into the bottom of the earth. Legit terrifying. Well, come on, how did that not hurt anything? A glitch into the wall and get stuck for eternity. Glad I saved. That's legit terrifying that it would just drop like that. Oh my gosh. That's so cool though. Come on. I wasn't that far. Do what I ask of you. Okay. So I think I've been playing around for a fair bit. And like I, we've gotten to see some really awesome stuff in this one as well. I am going to head back to base, and I think I'm ready. I'm done with my vacation and sightseeing, and I've seen what I felt like I came here to see. So with that being said, at the end of all good vacations, you must return home. So we are going to finish the rocket, and we will return to Altera, owing them thousands and millions and billions of credits because I couldn't get a freaking magnetic robot in my backpack. And we'll be in debt and we'll live a sad life because all vacations are better than real life. Well, maybe not all, but most. But regardless, we say goodbye to Planet 4546B and Subnautica. And we return to Altera Corporations to work a mindless job. So I will see you guys back at base in just a moment. He's still stuck. He's still stuck there. I'm gonna try to help him out, you guys. He's still stuck. Did it not reach far enough? I bet it didn't, did it? 
No, it, it definitely didn't. Okay. I think we're gonna try to help him out. I feel kind of bad. Oh, shut up. Aura. We're gonna try to land on this beam. Okay. He drinks Oh. God. Lord, he's so... He's very unhappy. He's very loud and he's very unhappy. Okay, we're gonna try to shoot him with a torpedo. Okay, I think I stunned him with that one. Oh, I saved your life! Come on, Jim, leave me alone! I'm trying to help you! I saved your life! This is what I get! Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Well, I mean, he did leave me alone after that, so maybe he did, like, give me a big thanks for it and not eat me. Oof! Okay. You're welcome! Anytime! Well, I mean, I'm leaving, so... It... Maybe no time soon. I'll, I'll call you. Well, here we say goodbye. I'll just take that battery really quick. Okay, here we say goodbye. Everything. I'll show you what I brought on the rocket here, here in just a bit, but... Still got most of the materials. Bioreactor gonna be living large with blood oil for the rest of eternity. Nuclear reactor. Goodbye, friend. All of my poor bladder fish will die in here, but it's fine. I feel like I had other fish in here. Did I not? Probably not. We say goodbye to Markiplier. I have cleared the shelves of any personal belongings. We say goodbye to the amazing scanner rooms. Water filtration. Coffee for the road. Moon pool that served us well. I'm not patient. Give me my coffee. Oh, come on. I didn't ask you to bake a cake. I asked you to make one cup of coffee. Thank you. Me and joy. Come on, Fabio. Hi, Fabio. You take care, buddy. You take care. You take care, Gary. Cutie. Okay. Bye, Fabio. Bye, Gary. You take care of each other. Watch this not be it, and I have to build something else. I have... I tried my my very best to get Spelunky up on this platform, or like on top of Faber. It did not work very well for me. So they get to partner up, they get to buddy-buddy, and they get to stay together. My crew... Please tell me I grabbed the ingredients for this. Oh, that's right. I need the Cyclops shield. I get to rob something from it before I leave. Huh? Alrighty. Yoink. Goodbye, Faber, as you have served me very well.
make sure I didn't leave anything extraordinarily important in here. It would not appear so. Bunch of water. Person who finds this and crash lands on the planet is going to be set for life. But I mean, now that everything is like saved, then I guess that that won't be that won't be as big of a deal. Lady C, thank you. Faber, thank you. Spelunky, you went to, to deep waters with me, bro. That noise the first time I came came through. All right. Did I have anything else important I wanted to put in here? I don't think so. So I grabbed one of each of the what I deemed to be one of the most uh, valuable resources. Just one. All of my important valuables. My toy. My toy car. Both hats. Those are important. Aurora miniature. Aurora poster, those are going to be very, very expensive later on because the Aurora crashed onto an alien planet. So these are going to be like really good money later on. All my posters, keep calm, kitty poster. I tried to place it in the rocket. It would not let me. It was sad. And then a couple of ion cubes in case those actually are worth anything. I don't think I put anything in there. Oof. This Communications feels... systems array active. Wow. Are you Ara's daughter? Auxiliary power unit online. Okay. This feels very official. Very sad. Pressurizing hydraulics. Oof, don't touch that. Wow. Boot up primary CPU. Life support systems. Time capsule? I think this is one of those things that I found. Ooh, I'll put charge fins. A gel sack and a first aid kit. That ought to be good, right? They were kind of useless to me. I didn't like them that much. But, hey, what you gonna do? No, they're not useless, but... Image. What image do I want? Oof. I kind of want to put the tree in there, but all of the pictures I have are kind of like spoiler pictures. I think. Maybe the lava one's not so bad, but it's got the big boy in there. Maybe I'll just throw the tree in there. That doesn't really... I do love my treaders, though. Yeah, all of mine are, like, pretty much spoilers. That one's not so bad, but you can, like, see that beast. <laughs> he looks so mad. I'm gonna throw the tree in there. We're gonna do that one. I, I pick tree. Select. Message. Uh... Lord, what would I even want a message to be? I didn't think I was gonna have to think this hard. Let's see. Death awaits you at every corner. <laughs> Should it be something profound? Probably not. Darn it, man. My brain. I 
You know, I'm just gonna do like my my motto, my own personal motto. Hello. If I could type, that would be great. Life is too short to be stuck doing something you don't love. If you don't love it, then why are you doing it? Okay, is that it? Done? Done? Now what? Done, I'm done. I'm done. Time capsule ready. Does it just jettison as soon as I'm like ready to go? Time capsule ready. Prepare, prepare. It just says prepare. I'm assuming it jettisons when I'm like ready. Oh. Primary computer systems active. Is it night? I did not want to leave at night. Whatever. <laughs> Life support systems online. I get a nice view of the moon, though. That'll be nice. All systems are go for lift off. Oh, okay. Oof. I'm just gonna do it. Oh, it automatically turns it today. <laughs> That's for the best. <laughs> Ready to launch on your command, Captain. Launch in ten. Oh. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time capsule jettison. Oh, my gosh. Caution. Approaching orbital debris field. Uh-oh. Orbital debris field clear. Performing gravity turn maneuver. Oh. Is that the Aurora crash? There's the Aurora. That's gotta be it right there. Confirm destination. And those are the two islands we were on. Nearest interstellar phase gate. Engaging ion boosters in three, two, one. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh! What is a what wave is without the ocean? A beginning without an end. They are different, but they go together. Now you go among the stars, and I fall among the sand. We are different, but we go together. Oh no, has she infected my brain? Is she now like a parasite in my body? with the Enzyme 42. Oh my gosh! That was amazing! I can't believe they did like a whole end sequence. I thought it was gonna be like, you get in the rocket and you just go. Oh my gosh, all these guys. Beautiful game. This is, this was amazing. Ugh, Zounds, uh, Simmons for sound design, top notch. All, all of these guys, honestly. Oh my gosh. This was so awesome. Like, I cannot even put into words how much fun I had playing this game for the first time, going in uh, virtually blind, because I had only watched some of the, like, early access stuff without a lot of the... without a lot of the detail to the story, so I never got to experience any of that, so going through it and, like, being able to actually experience it myself was amazing. I'm gonna have to add this soundtrack also to my to my playlist on Spotify. 
Oh my gosh. I want to play it again. <laughs> now, I'm assuming that frozen island we saw at the bottom of the planet when we were doing our slingshot maneuver is where the frozen wilds takes place, which in that case, if that is true, I, I'm going to have to play it because this is awesome. Can I be a playtester for games like this? That would be awesome. I almost feel like, I don't know if they have it on there, but I feel like Jacksepticeye and Markiplier should be on there for, for playtesters. They played so much of this game. But I guess they weren't like looking for glitches or anything that needed improvement. They were just playing the game and kind of like showcasing it. Production babies? Aww. This okay. This was such a beautiful game. Oh, they're on there. Special thanks. And IGP, I watch a lot of his stuff too. He's so cool. Eight Bit Ryan's on there. Nice. That's great. I'm glad they kind of gave them a shout out. That's amazing. Oh. Welcome home to all Terra. Permission to land will be granted once you have settled your outstanding balance of one trillion credits. What? <laughs> well, I'm really glad that I uh, brought some ion crystals with me. I don't know if that's going to help, but damn. Oh my gosh. Okay, I wanted to just three favorite creatures of the entire game. I just want to throw this out there. I have a very strong love-hate relationship with the crab squid. I absolutely love its sound design and its creature design and the way it works, but it is probably, in my mind, the most like terrifying creature in the game because I, it's, it, I have a history if no one else has watched the rest of these videos. I'm sure everyone has. It, I love the crab squid. I love everything about the crab squid. I hate the crab squid. <laughs> uh, my second favorite would be probably be I, it's kind of a toss-up because i really i really like the warpers honestly as much as annoying as they are they're such a cool like concept and design for them to implement and the sa they sound really cool too so i'm kind of partial to that and then of course like the the sea emperor is totally bomb and i love that you get to kind of explore the world and kind of go back and revisit and see like the babies all grown up and they're still in there it, they're they're so cool. So those are those are probably my top three to be honest. I really love the crab squid. I really love the warper and then the sea emperor are, are they're just so cool. Now I have I had a couple of other like semi favorites. The Reaper Leviathan I will say was scary no matter what stage in the game I was in. Whether I was very beginning heading over to the Aurora or I was traveling around in the prawn suit. It was a little less scary in the prawn suit, but I still knew that he could mess me up. So he was still scary up until the very end. Um, I really liked the lava spitters that were actually in like the the lava zone. I really kind of liked the way that they, I loved the fit that their fins kind of looked almost like hands. So it was like something was grabbing you out of the corner of your eye and stuff like that. I really enjoyed that concept. That was really cool. And I, I love the ghost leviathan. I know I didn't get a chance to go out to the dead zone. I've seen some videos on it and I don't know if that's something I particularly really want to do. But either way, this game was amazing. I can't even rave enough about the entire experience. And I know I've been rambling for a hot minute about it. I I'm really excited. I think I'm going to have to play Below Zero. And I don't know when that's going to be coming out. I'm probably going to be obsessed enough that I'm going to get it in the next week or so and start putting out videos of that. So keep an eye out for those in the next coming weeks, probably. And I have little to no knowledge about Below Zero. So I've seen the trailer. I've seen a few of the like creature designs in the trailer or from like the Steam like uh, buying like the site for Below Zero. But other than that, I haven't watched any videos. I don't know anything about Below Zero. I don't know the storyline. I don't know what's going on. So that'll be a lot of fun to experience like Subnautica, but blind and like going in with like a fresh slate kind of, which is going to be awesome. So 
Thank you everybody so much for joining me on this incredible adventure through Subnautica. I hope you had as much fun laughing at my misery and terror as I had playing the game and enjoying this entire world. I hope to see you guys in another video or in Below Zero if you enjoyed the Subnautica series, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later, everybody.